Hi right, guys, we're Scenes Production, uh, I'm Sam. I'm David. And today we're going to be talking about our new horror thriller entitled Paranoia. We're just going to be giving you a general gist of what's going on with all the in detail things like the props and the characters in, involved in the film. So firstly we're just going to talk quickly about the plot, obviously we're not going to give too much away because we don't want to ruin it for everyone else. So it's about this boy called Jack Killsworth and he's home alone and he's, it's kind of a cyberbullying thing that's going on but it's from someone from his past so it's going to be like, weird and it's not going to be enjoyable for him at all right? essentially the convention of a thriller film yeah right. so um, we've got characters our main protagonist of the film uh, is called Jack Killsworth and uh, his recently deceased friend who remains unnamed for the time being um, is going to be sort of the antagonist of the film but um, we're not sure like in the early stage we're not sure if he's going to be in the, in the film maybe as like a ghost character but obviously because he's dead we, we can't, can't have him like yeah. walking around because unless we decide to put in a flashback that's kind of the actually that's something we could like, yeah, we think could about. Yeah, we incorporate that into the film. So the another thing we're going to talk about now is the setting, and it's it's going to be in Jack's bedroom, which is kind of a juxtaposition because a bedroom is where you like sleep and where you'll rest. A safe you, place. Yeah, and then he's going to be experiencing all these paranormal activities. Really, it's sort of like um, in a in a horror you'd expect to be like. Uh, Typical like a dark house or like an abandoned place, but it's like sort of like the opposite because it's like his own house. Yeah, it's a natural environment, really. Yeah. Well, I think that would add to like the the, and yeah. everything going on. Um, next, we've got costumes because it's not because um, we're obviously like not the biggest production company. We've not like a big budget film. We'll no, get, the costumes are just going to be like regular clothes. Yeah. It's not a conventional thriller as yeah. well. It's like it's something different. Yeah. So he's just going to be like dressed as a stereotypical teenager, which is like skinny jeans, t-shirt, tracksuit bottoms, just casual but yeah. wear, wear that a teenager would like, wear out or something. Uh, vital props, obviously the mise on the centre of the scene, it would just have to be like just an average teenager's room, like a computer, phone, um, general like just a normal bedroom. So but, like shoes and stuff in the corner of the bedroom yeah. and just. Not things that are like ridiculously noticeable, but things that you would like expect to see in a teenager's room. Yeah. So it doesn't like stand out as weird. It's just like normal. The most important one though is obviously his phone because that's well, we're not going to give away too much of the plot, but just know that the phone is going to be <laughs> one of the most important things from the whole scene. Yeah, sweet. Right. Should we finish so, there? Yeah, yeah, I think we're done. Right. Yeah, this is a uh, scenes production signing out. <laughs> see you later. <laughs>